Oh, wow. Earthquake. Channeling the tension within the shard, this power it creates a powerful tremor shaking the ground, stunning nearby enemies. That seems OP as hell. We're going to put that on. See how that goes. Sassy, Sassy Bacon doesn't seem to dodge a lot. There we go. Oh yeah, this is this this is this uh I've seen a lot of people actually play against this this boss. Kinda wanna do this one on my own. See if she can beat this guy at low health. Or he. They're probably like, a little help here. Nah, they got it. Oh, they don't got it. Him. I'm such a nice person. All right, we're going to let's put one point in a dexterity. Yeah, I haven't put in dexterity in a long time. And then I think we're going to quit out. And then reload back in so we can not uh not be around sassy bacon if she's there when we get back or they're there when we get back they're gonna be some burnt bacon okay Let's see if this works hey no sassy bacon question mark I don't think I like this move. I think it's too slow. Whew! That was close. Alright, let's go, um... Go battle this chick. <laughs> Ooh, she just keeps going. She has so much endurance. Look at those ducks! I didn't even know- I don't even know you could duck like that. It must be like a special move or something. No, not like a special move, like an actual forward attack that's causing her to duck. Yeah, it is, I think it-
She gets hit by that one a lot, so I think we're gonna use that one. Oh, ow! Very nice. Achievement unlocked. Finding your marks. I'll take it. So that's all of the bosses that are marked on the map. However, I think there are roaming bosses as well. But I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Oh! Well. Yeah, so so far the... Oh, I thought we were going to die there. It almost fell off the edge. Wish this second dude would chill. We might die. I don't know where he's actually. Cool. They actually followed me down and one of them died. Ow. Ooh, this guy is sprightly. Boom! Got him. Alright, nice. So now I think we're just looking for the roaming bosses. Let's grab this item, whatever it is. Forest Dweller Gloves. Hey, Eakin! Thanks for the host. I appreciate that, buddy. Okay. Attribute point. Mm, let's throw another one in. How are you today, you can Throw one in strength. Did you have a good day at work? <laughs> that you went to sleep early for? For that nine hour... That nine hour... Um, away work yesterday? All right. We should have some equipment that we just picked up. I am doing well. I'm a bit tired, so we're just going to we're just having a relaxed stream a day, playing some Absolver, grinding out some levels and uh yeah. Having some fun. What what are these? Wait, what do we just have on? Forest Dweller Gloves. Let's do something that will up our damage a little bit. We have so many of these gloves. I don't know why we have so many of these gloves. Just the regular prospect gloves up our damage? Oh no, it's the same da same damage. Oh, these these kind of look cooler. No. We'll keep the ones we have on. Oh, and we got a new shard, it looks like. Description. Enemies consume more stamina for their actions during 15 seconds. Effects nearby enemies. It's kind of cool. I'm going to keep Earthquake for now. I kind of like it. We're going to drop that um, bottom right heavy move. It takes too much this move. I think we're going to get rid of this one. Let's see what we can replace it with. I like it. It looks super cool. It's like a forward front flip where you come down and kick them in the face. But uh, it just takes too much time. And if anyone even... Do they just punch you in the middle of it? It, it stops it. Oh... We got third attack sequences here, which is pretty cool. Let's check this one quick. Let's try and grab something else. <clears throat> this one's way too weak. I'm gonna try and get something that scales with power because we're... Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm, I think we took this one off because we're upgrading our strength. 1030... 
Minutes till I start work. I gotcha. Same time today, so. <laughs> well, I hope it goes by fast if you don't enjoy it. And if you are loving work right now, I hope it goes by slow. But either way, I hope you have a great day when you do go to work. 10 hours and 30 minutes. Count and tell the time. Hmm. Hours, not minutes. Yeah, I gotcha. What's 30 minutes? So it's sort of... Alright. Yeah, see, the problem is none of these heavy moves we have actually scale really well with strength, which is what we're primarily upgrading, except this roundhouse. Actually, I think maybe we're going to take this one instead. See how that works into our combo. Alright, let's try it. Holy mess. That does a lot of damage, though. But it'll be really easy to parry, I think. Especially once we get to actual PvP people. One thing that we need, need to, um... <laughs> You're glad it's not in 10 minutes and... <laughs> 10 minutes and 30 seconds? That would... <laughs> that would be rough, yeah. You, you'd be going to work real fast. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna practice this combo real quick here. Heavy. Straight punch. I want to get something that lands on the roundhouse punch, or whatever it is. It's not really a roundhouse punch. It's kind of like a... Hmm, it doesn't look like anything ends. Let's edit our deck a little more. Oh, we can do something like this. Don't really have enough moves to actually throw in a third move for each one. These are all kind of weak speed-based moves. Yes, 10 minutes for me and at 150 a.m. I'm glad we're not start work at 150 a.m. God, yeah, that would be that would be rough. The night shift sucks. All right. Um. What? What? Uh. Dab punch. I almost don't want to throw a third move into these. At the same time, I'd like to find one that finishes in the bottom right position. From Sweden, nice. I've heard good things about Sweden. Finish in, okay, so it'd be, it'll be one of these. We should have several that actually finish in this position. There we go, okay, so if we start upper right. No, we stop, if we start bottom, and bottom left and attack twice. Boom, boom, then we can do a heavy. Actually works really well. Kinda like that sequence. One, two, rotate around. Then we can maybe do a heavy kick in like that. It's pretty good. Let's try that out. All right. Who are you? Oh, you're just a rando. Let's try out that attack sequence. Oh, jeez, chill, guy. Oh, 
Oh, that is. Oh. There's a lot of damage. I'll take it. Ow. Nice, alright. I was just kind of a generic NPC, but... Chill, I do not chill. Seriously, right? That guy was like... <laughs> full football charge going in on me. Alright, let's see. Forest Dweller Boots. Okay. Let's actually... Let's heal real quick. Mostly used during gathering ceremonies, but surprisingly solid and offer good protection. This will lower our mobility, though. I kind of like our mobility at 22, and I don't really want to grab anything that lowers it significantly. So we're going to leave ourselves with a decently high mobility. Oh, we almost just fell off there. That would've been bad. Ah! Oh. I just wanna take this one guy out. There we go, now we can just focus on killing this guy. Or, beating his face in, I guess. Not killing. So what we did there is we baited out his absorb, and then we, on his absorb's downtime, we punched him again. So we threw a punch and then we fainted it, so we uh, removed it and then kicked him on the side after his absorb ended, which was pretty cool. I'm trying to work on our feints, um, although I'm pretty sure it's going to be different. I'm positive it's going to be different um, when actually engaging in real PvP because people won't be able to read your moves as well unless they're really high level, I guess. So they probably won't react the same way. It's perhaps plus 20 degrees Celsius. Wow. Okay. So now we gotta figure out where we're gonna go because we've beaten all the base level bosses. The ones they have marked on the map, but there's a, supposedly a bunch of them that are roaming bosses. There we go. That is why I like that move right there. This I have two very specific heavy moves, which um, take a long time to set up, but if they're staggered back, can actually be pretty good. I do need to be careful and make sure I'm not using them when... There we go, okay. I need to make sure I'm not using them whenever they're fully prepared because it's really easy, easy to um, faint or dodge. Not faint, parry or dodge them. And so it can... Really screw me over if I throw one. Ooh, ow.
Go up here. We haven't been up here yet. I'm guessing there's probably some type of collectible, or maybe this leads to a different area. That is not an NPC. <laughs> I thought that he was an NPC, but he was just another guy. Adelin? Columbery. Adalian? Columbery? Hmm. I thought we'd been everywhere, but apparently we haven't been here yet. Ooh, all of the birds. Damn, this place is big. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a boss fight up here, I remember. I remember. Let's do it. They don't have masks on, which is kind of weird. They're the first people we've interacted with that don't have masks on. Neil Defederlek Betlem. We have nothing against you. You fools! I was about to hit him with the roundhouse punch and she broke me out of it. She hit her own partner. take this guy out first it'll become a lot easier because we can just fight her by herself there we go okay now we'll gain a lot of um health back as well oh taking out the sword really that was a good parry on her part Try and get a good parry in here before we before we uh, actually kill her, or we'll just kill her. 